I'm Joyce Suppet and I teach sixth grade social studies at Indian Trail. Every year we always do a little activity for Martin Luther King Jr. And so I have my kids analyze the I Have a Dream speech and one of the things we look at is how he uses not only voice and word choice but also his technique. And one of the things that he does in his technique is he uses a lot of repetition. But he does it in an attempt to bring unity. He was all about bringing people together and having that shared dream. So the kids kind of analyzed his speech and then we talked a lot about how his approach is so nonviolent and that the pen is mightier than the sword. So after we analyzed the speech, they journaled about their own dreams so that they could practice their voice and their word choice and nonviolent approaches to how to bring people together. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day that there will be no violence in the world. Also that there will be no sickness and everyone will be healthy. I have a dream that we will have a world that cares about one another and don't judge one another. That we will come together as a country every time something bad happens. This is my dream for the world in the future. I want the world to be peaceful where everyone is equal. I dream that there is no wars with other countries and everyone is kind to each other, to animals and to the earth. Also, I want the coronavirus to go away. My dream for the world was that no one will be judged by the color of their skin, no one will be judged by who they love, and no one will be judged by their culture and their beliefs. I have a dream that one day no one will be judged by the way they look nor act because you never really know what a person is going through. I have a dream that just because of a person's skin color they won't be automatically dropped into, into one category or group. I have a dream that hopefully people people's everyday needs are being fulfilled and more people won't have to be getting involved with politics. I have a dream that that right now more that right now people won't be getting into a fight over unnecessary things, especially over the internet. I have a dream, a dream for this country. I have a dream and in this dream I dream that everyone will be seen as an equal, that everyone will be given a second chance for redemption and forgiveness. And when I say everyone, I want this country to know I mean everyone. I want this country to not even give it a second thought as to whom I mean by everyone because someone reading this might make the same assumption that Martin Luther King Jr.'s killer made. He thought that MLK only meant for his own race, but in truth he meant everybody, every man, every woman, and every child.